Welcome back to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. Continuing our segment on New Jersey now, our focus. Wall Street Journal Bartley fellow Harry Graver joins me now to talk about something called pot for tots. What is that, Harry? Well, it's something on Chris Christie's desk which is making a hard 2013 a lot harder. It's a bill, so uh, New Jersey is one of 18 states that allows medical marijuana. And there's a bill right now that's going to make it a lot easier especially for minors to get medical marijuana. And the poster child for this, why I got pot for tots, is Vivian Wilson, who's two years old, who suffers from a disease with debilitating seizures. Uh, but she's become this poster child who needs a certain form of cannabis that you can't currently get in New Jersey. So pot for tots is an effort to uh, lower the burdens. What right now you need three doctors to sign off. And they want to lower that to one. And they want to let dispensaries give out edible forms, which they can't currently okay, do. Okay, well, Governor Chris Christie, he's positioning himself as a moderate, but he has been very reluctant yeah. uh, to, to legalize medical marijuana. I guess uh, something that his base probably wouldn't support. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how do you, what are the political calculations that he's making in the right. governor's mansion? Well, medical marijuana was like a gift from John Corzine in January, right before he left office. So Chris Christie has not been thrilled to have this. The for, previous governor left, right. him, left him with this. Um, so he's made it really hard for medical marijuana. There's one dispensary in the entire state, and that's actually shut down because it ran out of material. Um, but the political consequences are, are in the air. And on one hand, you have a Republican primary last year, which made Rick Perry look like he was just hoarding up toddlers and giving them shots for HPV. So you can only imagine what that does to Chris Christie letting two-year-olds have marijuana. But Harry, Chris Christie is very popular. I mean, mm -hmm. are Republicans at some point going to ask, look, how, how popular do you need to be until you stand up for conservative values and mm -hmm. actually give us what we want? I mean, I I is this a loser for, for him? How, well, much, how, how much would he really lose? Do I voters love this? The conventional wisdom, I think, is that anything medical marijuana related is, a, is doomed in a Republican primary or Republican base. But a Fox News poll this May shows that 80% of Republicans support medical marijuana. So what is he, is, so if he's not going to lose on this issue in New Jersey, mm -hmm. if he says yes to pot for tots, mm -hmm. then is his reluctance have more to do with the presidential uh, well, race in 2016? I, th it, it, I think it actually might be on substance. I think his point's pretty simple is why can't you get three doctors to sign off on this? <laughs> I mean, it's, I don't think you have to look too far to see that you just have kind of a cough and you can get Adderall. Like, you don't really want the same thing for toddlers and marijuana. So I think what he's saying is that why not just have the higher scrutiny? And that seems pretty reasonable. Is there a question about the science or is the science settled on the safety of medical marijuana? It's, it's definitely not settled. Um, the long-term impacts of uh, medical marijuana on minors is really up in the air. A lot of concerns about either dependency or kind of long-term health effects from there. So then that's another point that Christie brought up. But I think advocates for it, like in California and Colorado, they say, like, let parents decide. It's our choice. And also in this case, sometimes the options don't exist and that this is the only thing that's shown to work for a lot of kind of heartbreaking cases. So it's tough. He's, he's not in a great position here. A tough, a tough choice on pot for tots in yeah. the great state of New Jersey. Wall Street Journal Bartley fellow Harry Graver, thank you so much for being on thank you. the show.